Hey pilots, welcome back. I got Corvus with me here and we're going to do a nice uh, long replay review of the G4 M2 and uh, see what ups and downs it has to get Corvus's take on it. I'll be accompanying him in the J4 M tonight and our first game has us up against the B32 and a variety of other planes as well. So Corvus, what's, ha what's been happening, man? Oh, well, you know, I, I have my, uh, I have my thing with these, uh, with these premiums that we get, I go out and I buy the certificates and I certificate out the plane. I, uh, throw a ton of tokens at them, uh, to, uh, get specialization. I throw a bunch of, uh, gear on it to ultimate, uh, th this particular plane has a special piece of gear. We'll get to that. Um, and, uh, and throw gold consumables on it. So it, I, I consider it the best case scenario, whatever you, whatever plane that, uh, Wargaming gives us the, the best case scenario is what I fly. And so this, this plane, the, uh, G4 M2 Betty, uh, Mitsubishi G4 M2, it, it's 60 bucks. If you buy the certificate, 60 bucks. Wow. A little, little much for a tier seven premium. Yes, yes, it is. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not really um, super excited about uh, about spending sixty bucks for for a tier seven. And you know, I'm not a bomber guy, so uh, so that's a, kind of a double, kind of a double whammy for me. Right. Uh, but this plane plays pretty fun. I mean, it's a it's a fun plane. It uh, it does some things really well. Uh, one of the things it doesn't do well, I'm going to say that right off the bat, is uh, it absolutely does not uh, either uh, either protect itself well or uh, fly very fast. So you get a choice with this plane. You can use your equipment. <laughs> you can do one of the two, huh? <laughs> you, you can do one of the two. You can make it fly fast, faster. So yeah, it's, it's slow. Yeah, it's slow and vulnerable. The reload time on on at least on mine, I've got uh, I've got ultimate strength and hard points, uh, is 30 seconds. So uh, so I already made a I already made a pass at the mining plant, and unfortunately uh, the B32 is also making a pass at the mining plant. Uh, and so now there won't be any uh, anything left. And uh, we, we nearly had a sliver of it. Oh, I see him uh, up there. Yeah, that that's too bad. I'm I'm disappointed a little bit, but but what he's, are you gonna do, right? He's low enough. I can probably finish him off. It'd be nice. I'm working I, I, on it. I'd be I'm, happy. I'm trying to get there. Sadly, the J4M uh, is also not speed, uh, as is the theme with Japanese planes. So. No, it, it's not speed. Uh, it's it's kind of turny though for a for a uh, for a yeah, bomber. Yeah, better better than you but, would otherwise think. <laughs> yes, um, uh, my thinking on this plane is it feels a lot like my Peshka bombers. Yeah, yeah. So the PE, PE twos, um, it, it, it you can't dive straight down. You can dive at like a forty-five, uh, a forty-five or fifty-degree angle. So you can. What, what do you call that? A glide, kind of a mixed glide and dive yeah, bomb. Yeah, almost like you're going to do some skip bombing or something. <laughs> right. Yes. And so this guy, um, this guy does okay when it's it's taking stuff like let's say garrisons or a military base or something like that. It doesn't have enough juice to just go and take a uh, uh, a mining plant all by itself. Unless you use gold bombs and uh, and the pilot skill, the, the demolition expert, and place your bombs exactly right, so that's the that's the problem. You have to place the bombs exactly right. And my first pass on the on that uh, central workshop, I did not place the bombs exactly right. Mm. So so that that hurt. Yeah. That's why we didn't take it immediately. And without gold bombs, I don't know that it could be done. Right. Uh, especially on a captured one, so that's the that's the other that's the other issue. You know, it takes more points on a captured plant. Right. So. Absolutely. Um, so uh, let's see what I say about this. It's sixty sixty dollars. I would say that because the grind is reasonable, 
you don't have to get a bunch of epic medals and you don't have to you don't have to pray for a, a Gabreski or a Gobelev. You know, you, you don't have to you don't have to get those so it's a little bit easier right. than uh, than um, getting uh, some of the previous ones. As is fitting for a T seven, right? Like Right, yes. Um, I I also find that it's a it's a little weak bottom tier, um, you know, like a lot of tier sevens. It's a it's a little weak bottom tier, and that's you know that's okay. Um, I uh, oops, I uh, I left a sliver again. You got a bomber flight coming in over the top of you, so you should be you should be good. The uh, the the guns are the guns are pretty good. Um, actually, they're really good. I uh, uh, you get both of those twenties. So there's a top turret that's a twenty, and the rear gun is a twenty. And if you can turn the plane in such a way to keep your opponent in the in the the range of those two guns, yeah, yeah, it it really makes it really makes life fantastic. Oh, looks like I get. Go back to the plant and uh, and uh, do some more plant-like work. Uh oh, um, yeah. Is it uh, so? The the twenties have a pretty solid DPS. Yeah, like one twenty or something yeah. like that. Yes, they do. Uh, and they uh, they the the problem is that it takes them a while to lock on. Right. And that that's that that's a bit of a problem. You can you can uh, you can mitigate that with the uh, with, with one of the gunner skills um, and I can't remember armor or quick reflexes is what it's called mm, okay I I do not have quick, quick reflexes I only have seven bomber points I used uh, protection the, the the protection expert not that's what not what it's called it's called defensive gunner right and, and so you, you you take less um, damage from planes and oh small uh, line Getting, I'm getting beat up here by a yeah. heavy fighter. Oh. No. The sadness comes. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Now you can now you can talk freely without having to split your attention. <laughs> right. I and in fact that's exactly what I was doing is I was talking instead of paying attention to my mini map. So it's uh, when we talk about these planes. It's like I'm playing with one half of my brain tied behind my back. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, always, it's always like that. I know the feeling. Um, so, uh, I, like I was saying earlier, I, I think it's worth a grind. Uh, if, if you're playing the game anyway, uh, the grind, you'll probably, within the course of the month, be able to get the, be able to get the stuff. Uh, be, able, be able to knock off the missions. Right. Probably. Um, spending sixty dollars, I'm gonna say no. That's uh, right. it, it's, it's a little stout. I, I would have, I, I would have felt better. Well, and also I'm not a bomber guy. So right. I think that's the folks, big bumper. Yeah, for a lot of people. So if if I were a bomber guy, you know, if I were super excited about a bomber, and hey, this is the first Japanese bomber in the game, right? And, and the first premium bomber in a long time, right? So yes. Yes. Um, gosh, how long has it been? Uh, uh, B-29. Yeah. Many no, that's, that's true. Yep. Um, it, so, being that it's a it's a bomber, and that's not my preferred play style, uh, it, which is, you know, that's fine. Um, and being that it's a Tier 7, which sees Tier 8 a lot, and let me tell you, Tier 8 is faster, and so now my slow... My slow bomber is even slower. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so there's, it, I, I consider it a, a, a balanced premium. You know, it's it's not like the B29, which is a rolling flak battery. Uh, uh, it's the, the guns take a while to get locked on. The um, the uh, the guns do have some <clears throat> seriously occluded fields of fire in places. Uh, that's 
which is uh, which can be kind of nasty, especially if you're uh, if you've got somebody that's just hiding right below your uh, elevator. Yeah. So, I mean, they can they can hide right below you, and <clears throat> and essentially, you know, I, I mean, you pitch up, right? But there's only so much you can pitch up, and then uh, th then you don't have any more go. So, uh, for for light fighters, that actually works okay because light fighters can't stand up to those guns. But if it's a heavy fighter or a stout multi roll, you're you might be in trouble. Uh, it's uh, that's why I outfitted this plane. At least uh, my my first thought was go with a speed build, and I put a speed build on it. Oh my gosh, I was <laughs> I was dying left and right. I I was doing my best, my absolute best, to not get killed, and yeah. <laughs> and uh, hardly even bombing anything. I just I, trying to stay away from the other planes was what was like job one. It's yeah. like, man, and and it really wasn't all that fast. I mean, I made it faster, yes, but it wasn't all that fast. It's still slow. Yeah, the, the well, base boost speed is so low, it feels like a losing battle to try and in increase right. it at all, right? I mean, that's... Yeah. So, so, I, so I gave it a protection build, and uh, I gave it protection except for American Special Projects uh, turret gun sight, so I could get the maximum range and maximum crits out of that out of those guns. Right, and that that seems to have worked. I got a uh, 1,050 uh, meter range on those guns, yeah, which is pretty good. All yeah, right, that's but, fantastic, yeah. especially considering some of them are seven millimeter guns, right? Right, which which really don't do anything. I mean, they they kind of they kind of peck at stuff, but they don't. Right. The, the, 20, the twenties do all the work. Um, in that way, it's comparable to let's say the Su-10. The way it the way it works the you know the 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 ventral gunner and the tail gunner are the ones that uh, oh sorry dorsal dorsal gunner and the and the tail gunner are the ones that do all the work and you get your plane turning and you can you know really zap somebody right um, uh, that that's kind of how the the Betty works uh, yeah you you definitely have to maneuver some. And it's not just using your rudder going back and forth. You actually have to use pitch as well to uh, to try to get uh, your sort of your tail out of the way, which is weird because the thing opens up that that uh, <laughs> that rear one opens up. Yeah, to, uh, it's like a clamshell, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, you'd think that. Well, you'd think, but but they had to do something because the, the guns are the guns are pretty powerful, and if you if you had an unlimited field of fire in the rear. It would be a, it it'd be another uh, complaint like the B twenty nine. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. So, I'd also like to point out where we're talking about the the modeling that are done. It. This is one of the few planes where Wargaming has done a full model, a full interior model. Um, so if you go check on you know some of the third party sites, game models, three D, you'll see that everything on the interior has been done as well. The paneling, the seats, um, all up and down the fuselage, which is, is pretty incredible to look at. They did a great job with it. It, uh, it, it is a nice looking plane. And, and this has been something that, that Wargaming has excelled at, in my opinion, is the models of the aircraft uh, and, and how, the, how the game looks. Uh, I, I've always liked how the game looks. It's, it's nice to look at while you're playing. Yeah, well, especially yeah. given the age of the game. I mean, that that's yes. that's something people don't take into account a whole lot. But I mean, it's right. uh, it's it's long in the tooth at this point, and um, and yeah, it still still looks pretty decent. So, I <clears throat> I am uh, I, I'm relatively impressed by the play style of the Betty because it plays a lot like my Peshkas, which I'm I'm very fond of. Yeah, I'm very fond of the Peshka bombers. Um, uh, I've uh, I I recently came to the Peshka bomber love, and so I've just uh, I've only gone to the PE two M eighty two in both my North American accounts, and haven't uh, haven't gone any further. So <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but I'm working on it. It's uh, it's it's slow, but it's uh, it's one of those things where where I, I'm looking forward to the TU two and the TU ten and the TU twelve because of the way they play. 
All right. Yeah, I think that's about where I've stopped on that line as well. Oh, well, that uh, this is going to be uh, probably a runaway hit. <laughs> no, there's nobody who can challenge you, really. I don't I mean, unless you just end up in the same zone as the Tempest. And the P-61 is going to be sweeping those uh, ground pounders for us, I'd be willing to bet. I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, Exocat's an excellent, an excellent player. I, I've played with and against him before, mm -hmm. and and he knows what he's doing. Um, and when you're in a P61, uh, well, you just have to roll your face on the keyboard and you get a win. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll come well, drop my bombs over here on the mining plant, see if we can get us over the hump a little easier as well. Okay, uh, I, I appreciate that. I'm also going to do a very close flyby so I can... Uh... There you go, folks. I love I love all the camouflages on this one. By the way, again, I think they did did a good job. So, all right, let's see what I can do with that. It's, uh, that's that's one of the things uh, uh, I've enjoyed about this plane. Oh, the, and this is a tier eight battle, and I forgot about that. Oh. Um, the fact that it's a tier eight battle means that the that stuff is worth more. You know yeah. the, the more the, HP. Yep. Yeah, more HP. And so uh, it's good that I have gold bombs. <laughs> Do you think but, you would uh, normally, are you going to normally run gold bombs on it? or? Well, I've got a, I've got a boatload of gold, and, and because yeah. my bombering is, I, I'm, not the, I'm not the greatest bomber in the world. I can get away with the, the silver uh, consumables on pretty much every other plane. But, right. But one of the nice one of the great things about this plane is the super fast reload again this is like the this is like the soviet bombers the super fast reload but the light bomb load yeah um and i am i am coming to like you know uh not not having uh the opportunity to one pass a big zone like 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 uh, the mining plant Right. Uh, I like to be able to try to figure out how not to do that. Um, how to how to make a good pass, first pass, make a good turn, and come back just in time for my bombs to be reloaded. Right. Efficiency. Um, yeah. 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 The, the the timing, and the timing is something that that uh, like with the B twenty nine. I'm just terrible at the timing of B twenty nine. I got to tell you. I just, I'm, I'm just bad at it. Oh, we've got two of them in this zone. The, the two. Uh... Interesting. So they're over there in the. Okay, I see. That's good. <laughs> it's I take quick, me a while to get over there. That one. Yeah. And I think the I'm, J. Uh... I'm not gonna uh, try and get the Ju-288. I'm gonna come probably mid and then uh, roll over to their mining. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna head over flip, to, to their faster. mining plant. Yeah. Uh, well, by the way, while you were talking, uh, you missed uh, the joy that my our viewers will have, and that uh, I was too steep on my dive bombing angle, ended up uh, bombing myself with my bombs, uh, damaged my wing, and then uh, got wrecked by a bot I220. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to a smashing start this match. <laughs> I see the well, tempest. I was going to say that, you know, every now and again, when we fly together, uh, I I carry you. Uh, it happens, doesn't happen very often, but but it happens every now and again. So I'm happy to do that this time. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We can take turns. <laughs> yeah, no, you you uh, you often carry me. And the, and the reason is because I can't talk and fly at the same time. It, there, there's just no doubt about that. Oh, I'm, I'm going to lose to the Tempest, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's the that's uh, both of us struggle with that. We are not multitaskers in this life, and that's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're we're superiority anyway. Yeah, I figured this is going to be a short one. Oops. It's a good thing. Uh, good thing we're not. Uh, this is uh, we have the support we have. <laughs> Yeah, that oh my was gosh, rough. That... Right? Yeah, those uh <laughs> Yeah, those those poor guys. 
Um, I, I, I feel bad for the red team on this one. They, having to go up against the P61 just sucks. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Um, a P61 and, and a flight, and you've got two ground attackers. So yeah, that's... Yeah. No, on, on Cold Peak, right? Yeah, on Cold Peak, so which it, is my least favorite Cold map, Peak. easily. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. That's, that's just... I, I feel I feel bad for him. So uh, it's sometimes you get the you, you just get the worst combination. The matchmaker just just kind of pokes you in the eye and it, yeah. it sucks. Yep. So I was going to talk about the uh, uh, what I've got on pilot skills. I've got I talked about my gunner skills, pilot skills. I've got uh, protection expert. Um, I've got the the. The vision one, with, you know, the binoculars, dude. That that's it's called something. I never remember what the hell it's called, but it's it's the one that. Uh, so I'm pulling it up uh, now. Uh, so the binoculars is vigilance. Vigilance, right? Yeah. And yep. so I've also got that on the gunner, so so I can see forever in this thing. Um, so it's it's good when I hit the tab key and look out. I can actually see quite a w quite a ways away from the plane. Okay. And you said uh, def engine... defensive fire is the other one you have. Let's see. Yeah, defensive defensive fire and uh, precision gunner. Yeah, yeah. So that that's for that's for the gunner. For the pilot, it's protection expert, engine guru, and uh, de demolition expert. And so I'm I'm trying to maximize the amount of the amount of uh, boom that I get with my bombs. Right. Let's see. I've got uh, so I've got a full. Uh, I essentially have a full uh, protection build plus a, a speed reload build. So. Uh, hard points, uh, uh, the uh, engine armor, uh, reinforced airframe, which is uh, experimental reinforced airframe, and uh, cockpit armor. And so uh, the the bonuses that I get uh, against fire and the bonuses I get against uh, flak are right. are pretty good with that setup. So I don't. I don't get beat up so much by flak as I come into a zone. That's a, that um, makes a big difference. It really does, um, which is one of the reasons I tend to take the regular paint to get that extra tolerance from AA guns. So. Yep, I absolutely do. So I turned that, I, I turned out the the gift paint. I turned that off and, and just put on the put on the gold paint because yeah. uh, I, I need the tolerance. I need the tolerance to the AA for sure. Absolutely. Especially if you're alone over a mining plant, something like that. Um, it, it can make right. a big difference. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And, and you don't have bombs to waste on, on AA emplacements. Right. So you got to, yeah, you know, it's, it's not like it, if you're in an SU-10, eh, okay, whatever. I might, I might decide I'm going to, going to throw away some bombs on, on AA. I, I don't, but you might decide you want to do that. <laughs> uh, and, yeah. and you actually can. Right. So, but not with not with this plane. This plane is is those bombs are precious, and you gotta you gotta lay the lay those eggs correctly. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I think folks uh, uh folks have got a pretty good idea of what this plane could do. The the dive angle for for doing a, a glide bombing is I think about fifty degrees. Okay. Uh, any more than that, so it's not like a PE two. PE two, you can just essentially go vertical. Right and, and drop your drop your bombs. Uh, the, this plane, uh, you go past about fifty degrees uh, below the horizontal, and you and it'll give you the hey, you can't bomb this. You yeah. can't bomb like this. Uh, well, and uh, so I was going to tell you know remind people make sure you've got. I'm trying to find the setting for it now. It's been so long since I've done it. You know, make sure you've got the setting on so that you can see um, you know how much your pitch is right on the screen. Yes. Right. So, so yes, the, the attitude, the attitude indicator is, um, let me go to the, the, the settings. Uh, let's see. General. Ad no. oh, here, here we go. Advanced settings, Graphics. general advanced settings. Yeah. And you're going to want okay. out the, uh, pitch indicator on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I, I absolutely always have the, always have the pitch indicator on. So, <laughs> and, and it's, and I started putting it on, uh, like in one point X and just, you know, just for my own information. Uh, but uh, with Mary Loveheart, it's kind of required to get the correct uh, get the correct pitch, so that you can activate her skill, her bombing yeah. skill. Yep. And so that's uh, that. So I kept it for that. Yeah. Yep. Definitely a good call. 
Well, do you want to run one more in the G4? Get since especially since the last battle was so short. I, I think that'd be wonderful. Let's let's do that. Yeah, for me, I think um, you know my general sense is that this is not a premium that you know disturbs the the meta or the balance of the game, um, and in that sense, I'm happy about it. But in the sense that I I really don't play bombers, I don't have a, a deep interest in in you know doing anything other than maybe scooping out some rewards from the the marathon while it's up, right? <laughs> so. Right. Right. So it's a double-edged sword, although we know there are a lot of bomber pilots, you know, particularly on EU server, who, uh, you know, are just probably, probably ecstatic about this. And um, right. so, I, you know, no complaints there either. It's certainly going to help Wargaming kind of keep the game up and running. Um, and it seems to be fun. Is, is the G4 fun? That's the ultimate question, right? I think it is. Well, I, let me, I, I'm going to restate my caveat. The uh, caveat is that I'm not a, I'm not a big bomber guy. Right. But I do like this bomber style. I like the I like the dive bombing style and the and you know not up in the stratosphere you know level bombing. I, I don't like that at all. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do like an, a more active style, and uh, this the style puts me in danger a little more. So it's a little more exciting to play the bomber like that. Um, and so this is a bomber that I would actually play. Right. Um, the B thirty two is not a bomber I'm going to play. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it's, I, I just, I don't like it. Um, when it first came out as a premium, it was, well, it was overpowered. The, the bombs were just fantastic and they, they hit everything and, and the guns were, were stupid. And it, you know, it was a prototype B-29 is really what it was. And, uh, and they, they had to nerf it pretty quickly because it was just owning Tier 7. And it did some pretty good work at Tier 8 as well. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> this is not that. Um, th this fits in with, like you were saying, this fits in with Tier 7 very nicely. Uh, it's balanced plane. Um, uh, again, I'm going to say that uh, 60 bucks is uh, a, a bit much for it uh, if you're buying it. Unless those uh, harpy crates pay off for you. <laughs> uh, when you when you get the certificates, I think there you get three harpy crates, or you get you get some uh, some amount of crates with it. Yeah, yeah, usually and, like one each of a couple of different ones. Yeah. Yes, and it, it, they they uh, they gave me uh, some gold, so I had uh, plenty of gold to throw around gold bombs and uh, gold turret armor, uh, right. turret uh, 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 ammunition. Anyway, the the if if I were going to change anything about this bomber at all, and I mean at all, oh dear. Did the K6 go over there? Yeah, maybe. I'm, everybody's over here. I had a feeling that was going to. I started to turn that way, and then I was like, no, it's maybe a matter of capping stuff as fast as we can. If he's over with Oops. you, I'm going to take the uh, airfield lickety split. Because that'll cause him some uh, heartburn. The one yeah, CL gonna, is gonna, with me as well, so they're, they're going to take they're going to take it anyway because uh, they, they've just got a bunch of people over here. Oh, uh, and there's a vampire over here too. So. Yeah, they're both That's counter capping. Nice. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go get their uh, my, their command center while they have okay. to come retake this uh, airfield. So this is this is not a surprise. They decided to. Uh, they decided to do that. Now, I'm, I, I, I don't begrudge it. <laughs> no, it's a smart strategy on their part. Um, definitely, right. they, they watched the opening panel. They saw what they were dealing with, and uh, makes a lot of sense from their point of view to come do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and uh, give you a hand with the with the uh, uh, man center. Then we should probably go see if we can't uh, do the mining plan again. Yeah, I think that's probably to let them clear out and then come after it. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's the danger of, uh, of going immediately over there, is that, I mean, I, I should have known that they were going to do it like this. And and that way, uh, I should have stayed away and capped something else. And then uh, we could have capped everything else and then gone over there after everybody cleared out. 
Hopefully well, that'll do it. Hindsight is twenty twenty, so uh, unless you're me and then it's uh <clears throat> then I'm still nearsighted, so <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh all right, so what do we got here? We got a good lead. Um, I don't know that we're going to flip the plant before it bumps, which will put them a little bit ahead of us. Uh, I see the K6 over the airfield right now. We do have uh, a bomber formation inbound. I do actually see... I don't know if he sees me, but I do see the... Uh, vampire as well pretty sure that's a vampire yeah this is one of those maps that uh, kind of griped me because it it doesn't spawn um, it doesn't spawn two bomber flights uh, so when you have both command centers it doesn't spawn two bomber flights oh okay which, that's irritating and, and yeah. yeah it sure is all right, let's see if I can't do something about this guy here. Oh, our, oh, that's that's painful. Our 265 just crashed. Of course he did. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until you move, and then I'm gonna ball. Go for it. There we go. I don't want to. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Water's fine. I'm just clearing out soft targets for you. I may have to go do something about capping another sector, though, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I've dropped. Oh, okay, I just killed myself. I didn't think I was that low. Holy moly! Oops. Yeah, I just bombed myself too. Gave myself a wing crit. I uh, this will be a good time for me to talk about how much I miss having the actual uh, altitude, like uh, right. the variation. Yeah, you know, being able to to do the barometric versus whatever else it was. So. It was radar, barometric yeah. versus radar. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, and now I'm, I've got a heavy fighter inbound. So let's see if I. Oops. I just uh, whistled up a bot to go over there, hopefully to help with that. And I'm going to go retake this uh, command center here. Now, if I can just do something here. Oh, there we go. I cannot get my guns to zero in when I really need them to. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the problem with the that's the problem with the K6 is that it uh, you know it really is it really is overpowered for the for tier and you oh dear what do we got here. ADAs are. I always forget how much uh, AA this command center has, how brutal it is over here. Just see, it's like Oops. a little pocket of uh, the worst possible AA. Yeah, see, they had uh, they had two command centers and it spawned two bomber flights. We had two command centers, and it did not spawn two bomber flights. Uh, is that a bug so on this map, then, I take it? I, I believe it is. Um, I really should uh, I really should talk to uh, I really should talk to Wargaming about that, because I've noticed this I noticed this a couple of times. Um, I was flying with F-2200 the other day, and we had this map, and it did exactly that, and in my mind, we would have won if this stupid bomber flight had actually spawned. Right. All right, I'm going to go over to the other command center. You're definitely behind here. I'm going to see if I can uh, oh. work with you. I'm on him, on him, on him. Actually, I'm on the P-47 below you. What's that? What's the XP-50? No, the XP-58's coming for me. Is he? Yeah, he is. All right. I thought the, uh, I thought no, the bot... No. Oh! You got him. You got him. Look at this, folks. That's that 20 millimeter. There we go. Two of them. 
two of them. All right, what do we got? Oops. The 1070 is down, so their ability to cap anything at this point is minor. I think they're just doing defensive runs over the mining plant, it looks like. Because they're not over not over the airfield here. Okay. It would be nice if the... Uh, if the... Yeah, they're all over the mining plant trying to retake it, interestingly enough. So I'm going to go over here to the, the command center with you. And we're, I've got okay. my bombs back. We're going to flip it. Oh, it's not. Wait, it's going to be win. 600. And we're going to get. Oh, I forgot this was a 600 map. Look at that. Ha ha! Squeaking it out. You Ooh. carried me again. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think it was a good combination of planes to cap uh, aggressively. I agree two multi-rolls and, uh, and a bomber. So, so this this particular plane is is uh, good, and you notice that that I did knock off. So that XP fifty eight, pretty much all of those hit points that I, that it lost, I did. Right, absolutely. And and I did it at range because those thirty sevens are pretty short ranged. Yeah. And so you know I start pecking away at at, at a kilometer. Yeah, and, and it doesn't get in until five five seventy six, which I, I just did a video on that one, so I'm I'm acquainted with yep. the, the range there. <laughs> so so yeah, I mean it's it, it, for bomber guys. This is this is going to be a fun thing um, for folks that like Japanese aircraft. It's it's a new Japanese aircraft. It's a it, I believe it, uh, that war gaming has. Uh, a lot of room in the Japanese tech tree and Japanese premiums to to work. I think there's plenty of fun stuff that could be added to the game. Yeah, um, absolutely. Well, and you guys covered one of those uh, premiums. You and Tempest did in your uh, uh, review of possible premiums, which uh, I believe, right? right. Wasn't, uh, wasn't there one yep. that was Japanese? Yep, it, it was the, oh my gosh, it was the... Uh, <clears throat> now you're... Uh, the J6? The, the sh yeah, the J6. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. J, the JK6. Yeah. Yep. And and, and it, it felt to me like it could really fit into tier 8. Uh, so I, I, I thought that it's a really good choice for tier 8. Um, and, and an extension of one of the lines. I don't know which line. Maybe yeah. the army line. It, it, I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, I have heard uh, Ritesser take uh, talk about uh, his feeling that it should be a seven instead of an eight. I don't remember why he said that, but um, it is a certainly a, it is a very high profile Japanese plane that played a significant part in the war. So it's it should be one right. that gets added at some point for sure. Right. So. And, and I and frankly, I I like some of the Japanese planes. I like I like playing them. Yeah. Um, and. And there, there aren't enough of them in my mind. There's, there's, there needs to be more of them. Uh, the key one hundred uh, is one I would like to see. That's sort of a second generation key sixty one. You could put it at tier six or seven, depending on how you configured it. Uh, yep. No, absolutely. And and I mean, Nova Tempest and I. Uh, so you guys saw six planes. Nova and I have talked about hundreds of planes. <laughs> We we got on the other day and we were just playing, yeah. And we talked about the possibilities of planes, you know. And, and you know, I've got my hobby horse I'm riding. I want the A6. I want the A36 Apache. I I really want it, um, but it's uh, it, it's it's one of those things where I think that the, that war gaming could just just change the skin a little bit and boom, there you go. It's, well, uh, yeah, and, they don't even have to just change the skin. And I think I commented on, on y'all's video on this. But the reality is, if, if you want the bombs on it, which would be you know what you guys suggested and what I think would be most accurate and best, um, essentially all you need to do is bring in the Mustang 1 skin that's already in the game, model that's already in the game. And then you need to put in, uh, just put in the stats for the Tier 6 Corsair with the bombs on it. Oh it's, sure. You've already got it balanced. I mean, uh, that may be not exciting for some people, but I would love it. Um, it's balanced. It's ready to go. It's easy to put in the game, um, and sure. I would certainly enjoy it. Yeah. No, I, I, I am, I am a recent convert to multi roles, and mm. have been having a lot of fun revisiting the the Republic line, and so I am, I am kind of excited about thinking about premium multi roles. Yeah. So yep. so. Let's let's hit the business part of this, everybody <laughs> out there. 
hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, support H0's content because he does some great content, folks. Um, well, at least not when he's talking to me. Every <laughs> All of the, the rest of his content is great. This is just mediocre content. I, um, I don't think so. These are great videos as well. And I, I'm just, let me, let me also say at this point, I'm excited because we have, you know, when I jumped back in, I, I really did this because I felt like nobody was doing videos anymore. Um, right. And we've had a bunch of people step into the arena and, you know, with Hunter and, and Tempest and, um, and a bunch of others that have started kind of adding videos and, and adding content. And that's what I'm excited about. That's what was really my goal in doing this. I wanted to, to get this scene rolling again. So I'm excited for all the different videos that are coming out. So I, I completely agree with you. I love to watch the gameplay videos. Um, you know, some folks say, Oh, you know, I, I want commentary or whatever, man. When, uh, Oh boy, his, his name just disappeared out of my, out of my head. The, Oh, came. <laughs> Came Invictus. Yeah, yeah. When, when he does his, uh, it's just music, and it's just him doing the craziest stuff with airplanes. Yeah. Man, I'd watch those end to end, and no problem. You don't yeah. need any commentary. I just, no. my jaw is slack whenever I watch it. It's like, holy crap, how did he do that? It's just a learning experience um, when you're watching him. That's I, I, I watch right. his video and take notes is basically what I'm doing. <laughs> right. So, so yeah. Um, I, and, and I do appreciate you. Uh, stepping into this role and doing these things uh, that you do, uh, the the educational stuff, uh, especially when you when you dissect someone's play or dissect your own play for that matter. Yeah. Because um, <clears throat> I I always learn something new. This this game has this game has so much stuff to learn. Uh, I mean it's it's a pretty simple flight model, but still. Yeah. There's uh, there's a know, lot of interesting things going on under the hood for sure. Yeah. Right. And so I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you and and Hunter and Tempest and, and what you guys do and, and all the other guys too. I I appreciate seeing those gameplay videos. And so thank you. Yeah. I, I, I thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank I you for it. having me on. I, I love talking about spending money <laughs> <laughs> on uh, uh, uh on uh keeping the servers up. It's a so, blast. Well, we also yeah. want to do tonight is uh, let's say you're not interested in, in the the Betty, um, and you're not a bomber fan. You got this marathon going on, which does include a lot of missions that involve bombers. You know, what tier seven uh, heavy are you rolling to counter the Betty? Um, and that's one of the things we wanted to chat about tonight as well. You know, there's essentially I've got five in my hangar. I've got the XP-75, the T-1, the Key 94 the Key 93 and the VB-10. Um, but, you know, what What do you think is, is uh, you pick pick a Tier 7 Heavy, if you've got one you're hanging on a fly, and let's let's fly a counter bomber flight and talk about which one of these, or if all of them, would be uh, good to use in this capacity. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a, a, a super great question. And... Um... In my mind, I, I am. I thought about this a little bit, and one of the things I thought about was that that you want a you want a plane that's fairly stout mm -hmm. uh, because that uh, those guns will tear you up. So you've got the VB10, which has what 400 hit points, and so it's kind of delicate. Um, and so those 20 millimeter guns might might make short work of you uh, yeah. unless you you uh, come in from underneath uh, and, if you and shark it. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. what I say. I, I've actually got this specifically up to tell you I, I don't want to fly the VB-10. I'll say right off the bat, I don't think this is a good one for attacking the Betty because you would have to shark it. And the rate of climb on the VB-10 is only 70 meters per second. That's, I think, the Ooh. lowest out of the Tier 7 heavies. It's, it's yeah, brutally that, bad. Yeah, that hurts. Um, and so, you know, good luck sharking from underneath when it takes you that long to climb, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm going to be flying the XP-75, which has one of the best uh, climb rates uh, in class. And so I want to I want to see that in action. <laughs> and so I've recently uh, come back to the British, uh, uh, the British line, uh, partly because of their multi-role ability. You know they have reasonable reload on their ordnance, and they're still pretty good 
uh, heavy fighters. Yeah. And as a heavy fighter guy, you know, I was I wasn't really interested in the line. Um, I kind of wanted to get the P uh, P two two eight, and I didn't really care about the rest of the line. It kind of I kind of ho hummed my way through the mosquito and through the hornet, and uh, I, my my brain really wasn't on it. But I've come back to them, and I find that they're that they're very good heavy fighters, and they don't get enough play in my in my uh, opinion. I struggled with them. I really I know the 1056 I've enjoyed a little more, which is where I'm at right now. But you know, the, the mosquito and the hornet were a struggle for me, and I've wondered if I didn't need to go back and just play them just just as multi roles and and not worry so much about trying to intercept bombers as as just you know capping zones around the edges as I would normally do in a you know, S199 or something like that. Right. They, <clears throat> um, they're maneuverable enough that you can keep your guns on target long enough to make them work. And the, the 20 millimeter cannon on the Hornet, they're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and I am, uh, and they're easy to use because they're all in the nose it's uh, the the downside. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Huh. That's a... Got an XB-55 to... We don't have any with. bombers to hunt. <laughs> that's... Uh, yeah, that's weird. Well, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go to the mining plant anyway and uh, drop my bombs and and uh, see if I can bait uh, some ground attack aircraft. You know, Whether I don't think I put, the, or... I put the bombs on. I don't think I put the bombs on. I probably should have done that. Because that would have been very helpful. All right, well, if so you're going to do I... that, I'll work on the command center over here. Uh, one of the things that, that I did to uh, as, a, as a sop to the speed uh, issue is I, I left the rockets at home. Yeah. So yeah. I just brought the bombs along. And the, That's the, the bombs normally are... how I play them as well. Yeah, exactly. I think there's something to being able to yeet bombs from high altitude, not have to get down low and aim. Right. Right. Um, I I I agree with you. Um, and, and the reload's fairly good, so you can <clears throat> you can throw your bombs out and then do heavy fightery stuff and then fly around and hey, you got your bombs back. Yeah. Which is which is nice. Yep, exactly. Uh, the lack of altitude that, that these uh, particular heavy fighters have is uh, makes me sad, but hey, you know what? It, uh, it does a pretty good job of doing, uh, doing heavy fightery stuff, so so I'm happy about that. Let's, uh, I was playing the high-low game. Well, we've got uh, a Hornet over here and a bomber in this uh, area, so I'm going to see if I can sneak them out of the game and capture this for us. Which bomber do I have? Oh, TU-2. That should be an easy out for the uh, XP-75 yeah. here. I'll, uh, I'll head over to the other uh, command center and Sounds see what good. havoc I can wreak over there. Yeah, with no uh, with no human bombers in this uh, in this particular battle. Oh, I, you know what? The human XP 75s over here, and he ignored me coming into the zone, so now I'm on his tail. Not the uh, lag uh, roll to stay on top of him. But hot works. tip, folks: don't don't ignore H zero. Don't uh, ignore any human pilot in the zone. No, really, really don't. Because uh, you will uh, wish that you had not. Uh, all right. I think this is... I'm going to mop up the uh, last fighter in the zone and then head somewhere else. Hmm. All right, how are we doing? We're good. We're doing, We're doing okay. fine. Alright, what do we got here? Got a bomber. Yeah, the TU is coming back into my zone, so I can finally finally uh I think it's ironic, by the way, and uh, that um 
because of the way the mechanics of machine guns and cannons work within the game. Ugh. You know, historically... Oh, no! He found you. Yeah, and he lit me on fire immediately. <laughs> um, although, historically, um, cannons were better for dealing with bombers and, and heavy aircraft. It almost feels like in warplanes... The trusty 50 cals are, are better for dealing with bombers, uh, just because of the sustained DPS that you have in them. Well, that that's what uh, that's what makes the P82 Bravo uh, such a powerful bomber killer. So you got 14 of those. We well, got you got to get real close in because it. Yeah. <laughs> but once you do, holy smokes, that uh, that thing will just melt bombers down. Yeah, as opposed to like, you know, 20 millimeter, even 30 millimeter cannons that overheat so quickly that you, yeah. without good trigger discipline, you might as well not have not have showed up for the party. So. Yeah, and so the, the, the planes like the BF-109Z is, uh, is really good. I mean, really good at killing bombers, but you have to have very good trigger discipline or else you'll just be on overheat all the time. Yep. Tap fire. Tap 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 tap. Uh, I think the uh, XP seventy two is he's below me. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. All right. Bot XP seventy two here as well. I will worry about him. Wow. I was worried about that. It's a Yak 9U that sussed me out. <laughs> I was trying to get him out of the game before he did anything to me. Ah, uh, yes. Getting sniped from a kilometer away by the Yak 9U. Well, he turned to head on me with those one of those mystical, magical turns that uh, bot aircraft are able to pull off. Right. You're exactly right. They are mystical and magical. It would be it would be interesting to see what they're actually doing, so that I can replicate. Right. Way to go! Victory is close. I think we're gonna win this one. Yeah. My gut tells me we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, I could go over here and play around some more, but I'd be done before they even, before it even, uh, before I even get over there. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. The port will be unable yeah, the last I saw the, I haven't seen the enemy XP-75 since he knocked you down at the beginning of the match. I wonder where he's floating around at. Oh, he's over here. Okay. Shark him. Maybe not. Maybe he sees me. All right, it's, we got five seconds, and then we're, yeah, there we're out, <laughs> so. <clears throat> it was a ram. Ah. There we go. Mutual ram. <laughs> now that, uh, that, yeah. And so, uh, with no human bombers, the, the Hornet, the Hornet is, uh, is pretty good. It, it's cool down, the, the cool down cycle and the overheat cycle on the guns is excellent. Uh, if you, uh, if you let up on the trigger just a little bit, it'll cool down pretty fast and then you can hit it again. Yeah. So, more like, you know, three seconds of fire and then let up, and then three seconds of fire and then let up, and and keep on going like that. Yeah, much much easier to deal with. Yeah, the, the, that's one of the reasons contributes to the ease of the the British line is just those those four twenties are the sweet spot between range and firepower and burst length and accuracy, right? Right. So and so uh, so I have my Hornet uh, kitted out with uh, aerodynamic pylons, uh, gas operated action. Uh, a boost mixture uh, system and a and a sight. Yeah. And so so that uh, 
in general that helps me uh, get where I'm going. I do. Uh, okay. I have boost on this uh, XP75, and I also have the long barrels because of the machine gun, although I've thought about swapping that out. It just feels like the DPS at Tier 7 is already very good, um, and that extra little bit of distance might help, but I might play around with that. We'll see. I, uh, my my XP75, I think I've played it a couple of times, and I haven't played it again. <laughs> I uh, love it. Uh, and I should play it because it's uh, uh, doesn't it has 10... 50 cals, right? Yeah. Is that oh, yeah. true? Yep. There's four around the engine synchronized through the contra rotating p propellers and then six on the wings uh, because this is a Chimera aircraft, right? It has the canopy, I think, of a P-47, uh, the wings of a P-40. Um, it's just it's a little bit of everything here. So it's a, it's a funky looking plane for sure. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, now I now I'm I'm looking at it. It's it is weird. <laughs> um, it was it was used. There were the goal was to reuse parts to create a, a you know a heavy fighter, and that's that's what they came up with. It uh, it definitely does that. The tail plane, the tail is stable, the vertical stabilizer at the back end of the plane is another aircraft as well, if I remember right. Um, <laughs> so wow, funky. yeah, two five hundred pound bombs. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put those on this time. Two 500 pound bombs. Let me let me see about this. Uh, oh, three minutes though. Yeah, they're they're yeah. gonna be one one shots, right? You're gonna you're gonna chuck them somewhere um, and be done with it. But yeah, um, you know you are you are getting a pretty solid oomph. Um, so, and again, I don't think it you know given what you're facing, I'm not sure it necessarily hurts your speed enough to worry about not carrying them. So. Right. No, that's true. I am thinking, by the way, I have the VB-10, but I haven't ever uh, assigned it to a nation. I'm pondering if I should make it British, since uh, the Brits, I believe, only have the Bowfighter Five as a premium heavy. Is that correct? That is correct. Oh, yes. No, that's true. That's true. Um, and it's good. I, I'm... I'm uh... I don't have anything bad to say about the Bowfighter Five, but it would be nice. It would be nice if now I'm going to climb on my other hobby horse. <laughs> if they would uh, give us the Westland Whirlwind, um, I would love to see the Westland Whirlwind. There you go. And yeah. uh, I, I think it, it because of the of the armament, it's probably a tier six heavy fighter. Um, That's not a bad 20s. spot, though. No, uh, and. <sighs> That's a discussion. Like, where would you... It, it was supposed to be pretty maneuverable. It's pretty fast. And it's got good guns. Well, all of a sudden now, all of that added up means overpowered. You have to you have to give it some handicap. And I don't know what handicap to give it. Uh, unless you kind of nerf the speed or nerf the altitude. So, typically, uh, British heavy fighters don't have the altitude of the other heavy right. fighters. Right. That, that well, probably maybe, is what they would do, I would think, yeah. And, and make it maybe delicate. Um, yep. Huh. Speaking of which, I, I, I meant to say this when we were working on the Betty, but um, I wa I've often wondered... What if instead of those heavy, uh, what a great shot of our, both our planes coming in. Uh, what if instead of the U.S. bomber line being the super heavies, the B-17s and 32s and 29s, what if instead that line had been more like the A-26 where you've got B-25, sort of that medium bomber mentality, right? I, it would have been easier right. to balance, probably would have been a more active play style. So Right. Well, I mean, that's, a, that, that's another another plane that I thought would be would be fun would be the B twenty five H with a with a big gun. Right? I yeah. mean you couldn't put the seventy five in it because it's that's too big for the game. But uh, through the magic of wargaming, you could instead put in uh, a fifty. Um, you know, and have have a reasonably long range fifty on it. Yeah. And it would be something like a ground attack aircraft. Eh, I'm gonna go with the central workshop. What the hell? I'm 
not seen either of the human pilots over here in the middle. Wow. That, 10 guns is a lot. Yeah, it, it really does burn stuff down pretty quickly. And, you, you know, the, no the range you don't so much notice because, you know, you're probably, if you got a good trigger discipline, waiting until 600 to open fire anyway. So, what's another 100 meters at that point, right? Right. And there's also the chance of starting fires, which we know even adds more to the DPS, right? So, um, I, uh, I I do like a good fire, uh, fire starter build. All right, KI-93 incoming. Whoops. I'd say hold your trigger discipline and then I uh, screw up and start firing too early. <laughs> we are losing the military base. There are too many enemy aircraft. Uh oh. A rocket has reached the the uh, little announcer voice says we're losing the military base. I don't think we are. I think it's a lie. Oofed. Oh, the X4U oh. is coming in. I think I'm going to have to outrun him. The, uh, the, the J4... The J4M has uh, has critted me, and now is get, getting me in a turn fight. Yeah, the, the uh, X4U is below you, so watch yourself. Yeah, I, I did I did see that. I'm trying to stay up. Ha! Oops. My uh. All right, let's try this guy again. Oops. I think he killed himself. Oh, you you got him. Yeah, I made it. I ran out of the zone and looped over and came back. It was long enough that he stopped paying attention to me. So here's uh, here's the other human on the on the other team. Okay, just respawning. Got it. Uh, I, yeah, they I'm did. They over. did take the rocket base. By golly. bombs are back so uh, I'll contribute some uh, capture points right off the bat I really need to learn more about uh, bomb values and what I can target with each individual bomb that would probably be helpful Ugh. generally speaking I just generally I toss them at two AA guns and just count 40 points done but I think I can probably get oh more I out see of it. Yeah, see, I, I try to get the maximum amount I can out of my bombs. Um, one of the things I do is I, I try to get the highest value target. And I'll, I'll go ahead and, and take that high, high value target and uh, see if I can't, you know, I can get it with two bombs. Or... My goodness gracious. Your tail. Uh, no, I tried to clear your tail, but I was too late. No, it's... It was it was uh, one of those things where it's like uh, I had one too many opponents. If I had only been specialized, I might could have saved you. If only. If only. Uh, if only. Well, I didn't expend my bombs, so I guess I can go over to a garrison and there you go. wreak some havoc. So the 500-pound bombs will take the the big targets in a garrison. Okay. So you can That's good to so know. you can go and yeah, I think we're yeah we're in a we're in a tier seven match so. Yeah. And I, I gotta I gotta be honest I'm a little disappointed we haven't had any uh, player bombers I, I wasn't sure we'd see a Betty but I thought we'd see some B32s at least especially after that first match. Yeah really. Fiddling with my roll mechanics here, it's not working out for me. I'm just gonna go straight into the dive. 
<laughs> I was trying to pull some of that stuff that I saw Pedro doing. I'm still enamored with the role. Oh, yeah. Working on it. by a K93. Yeah, I got uh, I got quite a bit of my hit points blasted off by that gun, too. I tried to roll out of it, but of course it's a bot, so... Yeah. I don't think I have my K93 uh, finished. I think I need to go finish it. It's probably something to do. So many projects and so little time. Right. Well, you're uh, you're, you're still you still don't have all the stuff from the from the tech trees, right? I mean, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I take you're my still time. Working on it. <laughs> I take my time on that stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm a little behind everything. Um, but uh, I my goal is to get through all the tier tens, and then I'll start playing tier ten, uh, and then I'll uh, you know, I'm also kind of as I go here and there specializing some aircraft that I really enjoyed. Um, and then saving a lot of tokens because I feel like the I need I'm gonna need the ten specialized right off the jump when I start playing them. Yeah, at least for some of them. Some of them, and and, and especially the multi rolls. The the multi roll grind for specialization is just. Yep. It's dumb. Especially tier that, ten. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. It, it's it takes forever. And there's just no reason to. Uh, yeah. No, it's a it's a good it's a good heavy fighter. I I uh, I had forgotten it in the in the mix of heavy fighters of tier seven heavy fighters, and I uh, I am I have reawakened to it. I might uh, <laughs> I might I might run it some more. I enjoy it, you know. So if you got some free gold from the marathon or whatever, I think it's not a bad one to pick up. But if you can't, you know, from a tech tree perspective, I think you're right. I think I think probably any of the tier seven tech tree, well, maybe not the key ninety three, just because the the gun is so fickle. But um, you know, I do think the Hornet can probably hold its own here. I think the F seven F can probably hold its own here. Um, yes. So, uh, and then obviously yeah. the one hundred nine Z, if you can handle the guns, certainly can uh, in terms of dealing with bombers. Yeah. But, and uh, and and for folks out there that are that are climbing the tech tree, uh, don't do like Corvus did. Don't free XP past the uh, 109Z because yeah. it has something to teach you. And yeah. the thing that it's teaching you is how to run those MK 108s uh, at higher tier. And yep. you need to learn how to do that because, man, you get to the ME 262 and you don't know how to run those things. You are going to just be banging your head against the wall. Trust me, I was there. I yep. did it. Me too, and I forced myself to play it for exactly that reason. Exactly that reason. So, uh, and yep. and then I fell in love with it because it it's graceful. It it hits really hard. Um, put the bomb on it, and you can actually do groundwork with it. It's yeah. it's a good plane. It's a good plane. Don't yep. free XP past the planes, folks. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and, and in fact, the, the F7F, you know, people people bag on it all the time, but it's got a whale of a load of guns, and you get yeah. all those guns on target, and the targets will just evaporate. Yeah. And so, and, and people don't realize, okay, it's a little stiff, and, and it doesn't, uh, it's not super fast, but it carries a lot of, uh, it carries a lot of weapons, it carries a lot of ordnance, and it has a reasonable reload time, so it's it's a pretty good plane. Yep, I agree. I agree. All right, well, I think we will call it there, my friend. Uh, it was good flying and chatting with you, as always. I enjoy uh, chopping it up about the game and the planes and the mechanics and uh, working our way through it as two uh, people who don't multitask well but certainly enjoy the attempt. So I appreciate you coming on with me. Oh, thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing you next time.
Yeah, very soon. I've got some more videos and an interesting replay in the pipe uh, for this week as well. So uh, I nice. look forward to uh, bringing forward those to down. It. Yeah, same here. All right, everyone. That was Corvus. I'm H0. We are filling you in on the Betty. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys get a chance to enjoy the marathon and definitely take advantage of all the sales and events that are going on this week. If you need camouflage, if you need uh, equipment, um, if you need to pick up planes, uh, this is absolutely the time to do it. We do not know when another premium sale might be coming down the pipe. Uh, it could be Christmas at the earliest that you could see this happen again. So uh, grab grab what you, what you need while you need it and uh, have some fun with that marathon. And we will see you in the friendly skies.